Hey everyone, not sure if you're one of the many fans of these tug-of-war car battles, but what do you think these contests really show? Do they actually prove that one car is stronger than the other? Today, let's break down what tug-of-war really tells us, and just as important, what it doesn't. Welcome back, folks. Tug-of-war battles might seem super exciting at first glance. They give off this impression that one car has way more power than the other. In these matches, two cars are chained up or hooked together back to back, and when the race begins, both drivers go all out trying to pull the other car across a line, pretty much like a traditional tug-of-war game. It's definitely thrilling to watch, but in reality, these contests are more of a show. They can highlight some factors, but they don't actually represent a vehicle's real pulling power in practical terms. So, are you a fan of these showdowns? Let me know in the comments. Key factors that actually make a difference in these battles. Torque and weight. High torque helps a car generate more force for pulling, especially at the start. But that force has to balance with enough weight to keep the tires gripping the ground. Cars that have both high torque and a decent weight advantage usually perform best in these matches. Low-end torque is particularly important here because it allows the car to create serious pulling force from the start. Traction. Extra weight means the tires can press harder into the ground, creating better traction and a higher chance of winning. But if there's too much weight and not enough engine power to match, the car might struggle or even get bogged down. Weight distribution and drivetrain. Cars with four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive and good weight distribution have an edge because they get more traction on all four wheels. In these types of cars, power is more evenly spread, so weight translates into effective traction. Tires and surface conditions. High traction tires and the right surface help the car grip and pull more effectively. Tires with deep tread or wider, thicker ones tend to perform better for these kinds of challenges. But here's what these tug-of-war contests don't actually show, and where they might be misleading. Horsepower. High horsepower comes into play more at high speeds when the car needs to maintain or increase speed, but in these contests, low-end torque is what really makes the difference. Cars with better torque are usually more likely to win. If you're interested in the science behind torque versus horsepower and how different car parameters affect them, check out my previous video. Link is at the top of the page and in the description. Real towing capacity. These battles don't represent a car's actual towing capacity at all. Real towing depends on things like the chassis structure, suspension, transmission, and cooling systems. A car that wins in a tug of war isn't necessarily capable of towing a heavy trailer for long distances or up steep inclines without serious strain or damage. Long-term durability in heavy pulling. Tug of war matches are over quickly, so they don't say much about a car's durability in heavy towing situations. A car that wins a short contest might still develop issues if used for sustained towing over time. Fuel efficiency. These matches don't show how fuel efficient a car is when towing. In real-life towing situations, fuel consumption and engine efficiency are huge factors, especially for people using trucks or RVs for long trips. Handling and stability in tough conditions. Real pulling often involves tough situations like corners, mountain roads, or slick surfaces. These contests don't replicate those kinds of challenges at all. So overall, while tug-of-war battles are super fun and exciting, they don't really give a full picture of a vehicle's real towing power. And putting your car under that kind of strain can actually have some consequences. You might end up damaging the drivetrain, motor mounts, or even the chassis during or after one of these matchups. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more in-depth guides and tips.